Finding the humor this morning, Andy, and getting your prostate checked, other men's health issues, that's a subject of a book by Ben Samaru. He's a Calgary author. The book is called Sincerely Your Prostate. Uh, ben is here this morning to talk about this. Uh, the book is a tongue-in-cheek look at issues that guys, Ben, seem to be shy to talk about. That's Not, why do you think guys are so shy? Well, that's a good question. I think there's a few reasons for, you know, the hesitation amongst men to talk about their health. And I think one of the biggest issues is stigmas that surround things like getting a prostate exam or STIs or sure. erectile dysfunction. And so um, the book, uh, as you you did a great job of describing it in the lead up and it, you know it's uh, it's a collection of love letters uh, from different male body parts yeah. and um, it so the book depicts a bunch of different situations that most men will face like getting your prostate checked or you know sitting in a waiting room in an SEI clinic and uh, it's meant to just facilitate a discussion about men's health yeah because I mean once you start talking about it you realize that Everyone goes through it at some point in their life. Like you, you talk about, well, you talk about um, like prostates, uh, penises. You talk about, um, you talk about STIs. You also talk about things like hemorrhoids, which exactly. affects so many people. Sure, and you yeah. know something like uh, a hemorrhoid is not something that's going to be you know <laughs> fatal, but it's it's uh, another one of those issues that a lot of men face, and you know women face it, the hemorrhoids as well. But it's you know it's something that. Uh, uh, through through this avenue, um, you know the the real goal of the book is to just share the message that these things are not weaknesses; they're challenges that every man faces, and uh, and so we just you know hope to raise awareness and get people talking about these issues. Yeah, get people talking. I mean, I, I got a question for you though. Um, when you were collaborating with the artist in the book, mm -hmm. how did you come up with these kind of really kind of happy-go-lucky looking images of... All, all credit due to the illustrator. <laughs> okay. uh, her name's Rekoya Reza. She's yeah. a freelance uh, art student out of Dubai. And yeah. um, I got to tell you, finding an illustrator was not easy for this. Uh, <laughs> she had the impossible job of uh, illustrating something like a prostate exam and, you know, making it funny and yeah. family friendly. So there, all, you know, here we are right yeah, here, right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, and, you know, so the illustrations are cute and, and, uh, and you know, they make, they make these issues a bit more accessible for, you know, for everyone, I think. Speaking of accessible, our, our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, we have a graphic of him. I think he must have tweeted up reading the I mean, book. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, it's great. So we've uh, before we launched the book, we gained the support of the Canadian Cancer Society and the Men's Health Network. Um, yeah. So they both agreed that taking this less formal approach to men's health would be helpful in you know getting men uh, to be a bit more proactive about their health. And we also reached out to some advocates for men's health and people that have been affected by men's health issues, like Justin Trudeau, who's father, uh, you know, Pierre yeah. battled prostate cancer for a number of years. There's Brett Wilson, Brett Wilson who, of course, yeah. you know, has battled prostate cancer a couple of times. And so, you know, people are really excited to get behind the message of the book. And so we're, we're really happy with, uh, with the receptions being getting. And, and how did it start? Like, was it a fun conversation with a buddy or was it a... Uh, yeah, you can put it like that. I okay. think it was, yeah, it was a fun conversation with a buddy <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I think the, the real, that, yeah, that's where it started off. And then it was just, you know, realization that, we, we think the awareness is there for a lot of these issues, like prostate cancer, for example, you know, sure. everybody knows about it because of Movember, um, and that's hugely important. And we think there's a second step to that equation, which is uh, now that we know about it, let's break down the stigmas and sure. let's, get, uh, you know, let's get men more comfortable with facing these issues head on. And, and, and the charitable component is that all the proceeds are going to charity, right? That's right. 100% cool. of the proceeds are donated. Yeah, yeah, you bet. That's great. Yeah. And so... Uh, uh, one more exciting announcement, which we haven't announced publicly yet, but um, you know, happy to share uh, yeah, on yeah. your show. So um, on Father's Day uh, across Canada, there's a run called Do It For Dads, and yeah. it's in support of Prostate Cancer Canada. And so we partnered with um, a corporate sponsor to put the books in the hands of all participants uh, oh, wow. that That's are cool. attending that event. So yeah, so if you haven't signed up already, it's a great, a great family, yeah, uh, family yeah. event. It's a 5K run walk. So. And then you get a book too. And you get a book, yeah. And you can talk about these issues maybe with your teenage boys. Exactly. exactly, and, and right. right, and it you know it touches on adolescence and things like that. So yeah, yeah. So you got yeah. That's that's exactly the idea. Sincerely, your prostate. Love letters from male body parts. That's the subject of the book. It's written by Ben Samaru. Uh, Ben's a lawyer, by the way, and he does this kind of on the side type thing. All the proceeds uh, going to charity. Nice to meet you, Ben. Nice. And a great little project. A great side project for sure. Uh,